live stream. AJ on live stream. AJ on live stream. Waiting for people to get on. Sing you a song. AJ on live stream. That's how you get it. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Wow. We get, we, get a, we get a nice number of people on here. Hello. How many people? <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, you're connected to your AirPods. I don't know if they heard anything. Oh, no. Wait. Wait. Did you hear anything? I think it was connected to the AirPods. I don't know if you guys oh, okay. heard our Let's song. Let's do it again. Okay. AJ on live stream. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Hello, everybody. You heard. Okay, they heard. Yeah, yeah. Should we do it just like one more time to make sure they actually heard it? <laughs> you know, it's good to sort of leave them hanging so that they want it more later. Oh, okay. There were a lot of lyrics to comprehend. <laughs> uh, uh, what's the pur- Ryan, what's the purpose of this live stream? Well, I'm glad you asked. Ryan, you rehearsed this. Oh, uh, well, well, Jack, I'm glad you asked. Bang just came out. <laughs> oh, but no, Ryan. Uh... uh Where's my... Way Less Sad just came there out. There you go. Way Less Sad has tr- officially dropped uh, last night or this morning at midnight. It's a, it's out. The video's out. You can go watch it now. Thank you so much for your ridiculously nice feedback. We've been looking at comments all day. Yeah, seriously. This, this one was our, probably our really, biggest release. So I was talking. This one was a really <laughs> that is so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> this one was a really long time in the making, and Ryan's correct. It was probably our biggest release so far, so it feels really good to know that we're still uh, growing, that we're, we have some new fans... Uh, on wow, there's a lot of people watching. I mean, that's that's really cool. That's like Bieber, Ryan. That's like Bieber numbers, right? There. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> not even close. Um, yeah. So, guys, just throw your. Uh, we'll do a little live. I'm not sure. We haven't really planned anything. We're going to be answering some questions. Um, I guess about the new. Ask about question about the new album. We'll give you some answers. If you want to ask about specific songs from the track list, we could try to do our best to. Uh, Give you some hints as to what what those will be. Yeah, and we'll play a couple we songs. We'll play some songs. We don't really have any songs planned. If you want to uh, re- request any, put it in the comments below. Um, and um, they'll probably have these chords though. AJ on live stream. AJ on live stream. It's AJ happening now. The fans are in. What is Joe about? First question that we're knew, not going to ask. Oh there. my god, everyone wants to know Joe. It is such a mystery track. Um, how do I how do we give it, how do we give just a taste without letting anything know? I think anything you give is going to take away from the first I don't lesson. think you know what? I don't think anyone's got has guessed correctly yeah. what, what the song is about. Whatever you're thinking about that it, it is, it's, it's not. What yeah. Every <laughs> comment that we've seen a lot of the comments Joe is it's about this tell it fans Telling each other that it's definitely about this, um, even though they haven't heard it yet. Uh, that no one has gotten it right yet, I think. Uh, so that's that's an interesting one. Oh, I just saw how hyper poppy is the album. I think I may have made a mistake. I, on Twitter, I, I was doing a Q and A, and they're like, "Oh, what genres were your influences?" And I said, "Hyper pop is like the most progressive genre, one of the most progressive genres right now." So definitely taking some influence from that. Then I saw so many. AJR is making a hyper pop album, Ooh. and that's not what we're making, guys. I'm sorry to disappoint. No, it, I, I, there's definitely oh, there's a little bit of influence. On yeah, that. they do they do something really amazing, which is like subverting expectation. You know, like yeah. Dex does a good job at that. Obviously, all of the you know PC music stuff they do a really good job. Ryan, so, did you tell uh, us that story how you actually did it? What's that? What do you mean? 
Like, did you actually say Adrian is making a hyper pop album and you made it seem like it was way less when no, you were retelling it to us? I really didn't. Okay. <laughs> I really didn't. I don't know. We'll see from fans with this. No, we really did. Uh, Austin, PC music equals the future. Is that Austin? Uh, yeah, our Austin. Kind of we literally, we say. specifically told him not to be on here. Like, that's <laughs> like, we asked him to do one thing. Um, what's your favorite song on the album and why? Hey, uh, mine keeps changing. On the last Instagram live we did, I said a song, and now I'll say a different one. Wait, what did you, what did you say? Last time I said the trick, like an hour ago, but now I'm going to say a different one. <laughs> um, maybe Christmas in June. It's, I'm really proud of that as the end to the album. What about you? I'm going to say the same one that I said before. What's that? Joe. Adam is on And it's question. about... The... No! Oh my god. Oh, the sound cut out right as he was about it to say it. connected to the AirPods. It's, yeah. It's, 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 um, it's about the... Uh, my favorite is, um, I really like, The Trick is amazing, uh, that, that's always been a really special one. Um, Ordinary-ish People featuring Blue Man Group uh, is another interesting one, uh, really like that one. That was yeah. the last one we finished. We yeah, were, yeah, yeah. Very we were finishing one. that up to the moment that we turned in the album. And here's a sneak peek. Blue Man Group, come in here, play the drums, let us hear. AJR live stream. Oh. <laughs> Weird ending. Um, you want to do a song? An actual sure, song? Sure, yeah, guys, put your song requests there. Um, we, uh, we we could try to do anything you ask. It can be an AJR song. Let's start with an AJR yeah, song. Yeah, let's start with an AJR song. Um, why did you open the window? It's like 20 degrees outside. It feels awful. It feels Shea, terrible. Shea farted as we left. I, yeah, I, I was trying to air out the room. Guarantee that wasn't Shea. <laughs> uh, so any, many requests okay, for songs. Um, first request, a lot of people asking for Joe. No, Go. no, no. <laughs> the song's out already. Um, a bunch of requests for Well, Not Crazy. Oh, that's a fun one to start. What key do you want to do it in? I'm thinking E flat. Oh, I, I can see that. That's E flat. Ready? Frankly, I'm scared of clowns. Get togethers, get me down. But when you talk, it's like, well, I'm not crazy. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Don't kill me. Choice. A lot of sober ups and a lot of karmas. Not sober up. We do that. Too, we do that too much. Break my face. Ooh, that's interesting. We've never done that. Let's do that. Uh, 
<laughs> while you're vamping, <laughs> while you're vamping, we have a request <laughs> for this. <laughs> Say hello. Now they'll be ready, since we went to Shea for a commercial break. Oh, clearly they're not ready yet. We're going to go back to Shea. And then chorus is major. Cool. Ready? Uh, How does it start? (laughs) One, two, three. Okay. Ready? Bunch of requests. Right, Driver's right. license. Oh, I don't know. Uh, you don't know. Or the chords. Uh, oh. 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 Next, I, next don't the, I don't know. The, I don't um, know. The we also got a bunch of requests. Oh, here, yellow Coldplay. Wait, we could, wait, we could, we could try driver's license, but totally new chords. I literally have not heard it enough. I, I think, I think so. I think I can get my way through. It. I, do do it? No? I can do it. Here, go for it. Here, go, go. Let's do it now. What key? F. Got my driver's license last week It's like we always talked about Cause you were so excited for me To finally drive up to your house But today I drove through the suburbs I know Crying cause you were not around Everything I'm insecure about you today I drove through the suburbs Cause I could never love someone Let's go with that And I know, it's I know we are perfect But I know I felt this way No one And I just can't imagine that you should be so
Gosh, House of Gold, go 21 back Fires. Home. Keep going. You gotta work more of a way well with this. Lots of requests for infinity. There have been no questions for the last 3,000 comments. Really? <laughs> it's all been song requests. Guys, let's do questions about the album. We'll really try anything besides Joe. That's the one that we want to really <laughs> Yeah, keep. literally. Or, or ask about Wayla Sad. Yeah, Wayla Sad video. questions. The, the process of that. We could talk him through it. Right? We didn't even talk about how that song came about. Oh, this is fun. This? <laughs> no, I'm serious. <laughs> that wasn't sarcastic. This song, uh, here, you want to move it over a little bit? So yeah. We can see? There we yeah. go. There we go. Hey. Um, uh, this song is probably not literally actually nine years in the making and I, I said that on my story yesterday and people asked me why and the answer is this it's because the there's a sample in the song from a Simon and Garfunkel song and uh, we isolated that horn sample nine years ago uh, and uh, we, 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 we tried to do something with it and it was so good and we said okay you know this is so great let's just like save it for one, when we have money to pay for a sample, you know, and uh, two, when it's just the right song. And so we literally put it, you know, away. And nine years later, like eight years, I guess, later, what happened was we had the hook. Don't you love it? No, I ain't happy yet, but I'm way less sad. In another song that we wrote for Kygo, which had, it had totally different lyrics, had a totally different beat. We sent it to him. They, they, they did not want it for Kygo. So we were like, wait, that, that hook is so H.A.R. and it's so us. Let's keep that. On the other hand, the ba-dum, 
da 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 da. That sample we put into this very hip hop track that we were making for Cardi B. That sounded really different. It had all these like hip hop drums, but it did have that one horn line. And we sent it to Cardi B's label, and they were like, "Oh, this is cool. We just don't want it for her." And we were like, "Oh, that horn thing is so good. Let's keep that." And so we said. We basically rewrote Way Less Sad with an AJR-ish like idea, with this idea that you hear in the song, and we put that as the hook. We said, okay, like how are we gonna, you know, make this great? And then we threw in that horn sample, and it just clicked. It was like, oh my god, that's like finally what the song needed. Yeah. Um, and and it was it came from like all these rejections, and it was just like such fate. We're like it, we're really glad actually that you know no one said yes to it because yeah. it made this really cool song that everyone's really excited about. Um, so so that that's it's literally I guess nine years from start to finish was this song. At some point, we should do a, a making of and break down like what the Kygo song sounded like, what the Cardi B song sounded like. Yeah, that. That's a, that's a great idea. Actually, right? I love that. Yeah, we'll 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 film that this week. What was the inspiration for the music video? A lot of our new music videos, we're honestly making with our friend. I, I don't know if you guys know Eduardo uh, Ranabella, this guy that we grew up with. He was like our childhood friend. Um, they've been some of the most fun videos we've made because it's just kind of been like us directing them with him and just like feeling like. Uh, I don't know. It feels like kind of homemade, but kind of professional and us in kind of weird situations. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really liking these new videos, actually. How many songs were written over quarantine? The entire album. Um, yeah. Uh, what, how many extra songs did we have for the album that we didn't put on? I think it was only three? like... Oh, I was going to say one or two. Were there three? I, I know there's one that I have in my mind for sure. So, uh, but we used... Oh, yeah. I think there was... No, I think that... Yeah, I think, I think there was... Something. No, no, but that turned into uh, Bummerland, so, right? Yeah, there was, totally there, was like, there was a Bummerland version before that. So, like, totally, like, not, like isolated on its own. I think there was two that didn't make it for the for the album, which is different than Neo Theater because there were a lot that you know didn't make it. Um, but for some reason, it's just I guess when you do enough soul searching in quarantine, you're gonna find mm -hmm. some topics mm -hmm. that are interesting enough to actually keep. Yeah, um, I just saw a question: Where is socks? Some of you guys know that Socks was a song that we wrote for Neo Theater that didn't make the cut. Um, Jack um, didn't make the cut. How do you want to answer that question? It, it, okay, Socks did make the cut. It is on the album. It's just called something but different. But it's now. called something. We have changed the name. And as soon as you hear the song that we're talking about, you're going to, um, like... It will take you zero seconds to realize, okay, this was this used to be socks. Yeah. <laughs> it will no, be but we made it better. What? We, we improved it. We made it a lot better. Yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't, honestly, it wasn't good enough for Neo Theater. Yeah, and we, and we, and we changed some lyrics and we reproduced it and it was like, oh, we really pushed it into the, into this year. Uh, so that's really cool. But you will know. Um, just give the album a full list all the way through and you'll be like, that's the one. Got it. Yeah. You know. Who's requesting to be with us? Anyone, uh, anyone famous? Let's see. 99 people. I wish, like, Austin would request. That'd be kind we of fun. We would not. I don't think we'd say yes to that. Oh. We'd talk about it. <laughs> we could discuss it. If there are any famous people out there that want to get on with us, that'd be awesome. That'd be cool. <laughs> Help promote the single. How was being upside down? That's a real question. Oh, being upside down was brutal. Um, that was really, really difficult. Um, uh, it was... Uh, how did we do that? We did, we did, like, I went up there... Attached to you know ankle brace ankle you know ankle it's something like that yeah. and uh, and it was I could only be up there for like a minute or two at a time and it was really really painful we had to you know do a many we had to do a take and then let me down to breathe then go back up and then do another take and then let me down which so was which was harder being on the um, laser walk like being up on the wires for one spectacular night no or upside upside down. upside down was harder the lasers we had so much time in rehearsal and it hurt so much at first the the, the wires on me. And eventually, and, and this is true, and like to all the people who taught me how to do it, is that, that your, your nerves sort of just like die at some point if you do it enough. So by the time it was actually, we were actually ready to do the show, uh, my nerves had died. And uh, they oh, wow. haven't, no, no, the funny thing is, they haven't come back to life yet. So um, what are you missing in your life now? No, 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 that, it's a problem because they said it should come back pretty quickly. Oh. And the, we did the thing like three months ago and they have, they're have they still dead. You can punch me as hard as you can in my inner thigh and I literally won't feel Whoa. anything. Kind of like the Spongebob uh, bully scene when, they, when Flats finally if you're punches returning, If you're referring to Flats, that's exactly what it is. You did not just do that. I just sent a request to a very special someone. You did not. Bingo. No! <laughs> hey, Jay, on a live stream. Austin's in the live stream. Skeeter's in the live stream. Eater McGee. How's the snow in Texas? Man, it's 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 a lawless land out here. 
It is a law. No one knows how to drive. It's really <laughs> is bad. It, when, it, is this completely new to, to everyone? It's when's the last time it snowed in Texas? And it actually well in, in Dallas, it, it'll probably snow maybe once a year for like two hours or something like that. And then all of the snow will, will basically go away by the morning. But in Austin, it doesn't, it, I mean, it doesn't snow down here. It's, it's, it's not a thing. So the fact that the snow has stayed here and is basically retained for the last three days, I mean, the city's basically gone, you know, I saw, nuts. It's, it's, wow. I saw a headline. This is actually serious that one of the Texas mayors said, only the strong will survive. That's a quote. And the weak, and the weak will perish. He said that? Austin, where do you fit in there? <laughs> Not I'm physically, at, physically obviously, we right know now. where you fit in, but like, but like <laughs> mentally, <laughs> where, where, are, you, are you the strong? No, I'm the weak. I... <laughs> oh, God. He's, you've totally given up. I'm the weak. Hold on. Uh, it's still like, it's wow. still really bad out there. Um, <laughs> yeah, we woke up. Day. Day. Yeah, yeah, like really bad. bad. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> we we woke up this morning without any power. Uh, oh, pretty much, it, it's interesting because like only certain parts of the city are getting power right now. So like any of the wealthier areas uh, in Austin, like they all have power, and uh, a lot, basically all of downtown has power. And then a lot of the neighborhoods, sort of east oh of God. Austin, where where we live, there's, I mean, there's nothing. <laughs> Brutal. So, Wow. I mean, was it your goal to come in and depress everyone in the live stream, or Talk was about, that just? Was that yeah, just, I really, I really want everyone to be, to be really sad. Way you less want everyone to get to your level. You know, yes. you can't just be alone in this. Gotcha. Okay, you definitely did it. I want <laughs> to bring everyone cool. down with me. Like, we were having a great day with the release, <laughs> guys. Austin is starting a Patreon. Uh, donate so he can survive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. Please don't go to my profile and DM me. <laughs> I'm good. All right, bud. Talk to you later. Blue one. Just get him out of here. That was awful. Forget that guy. That, he added nothing. <laughs> that was such a nice thing. <laughs> um, uh, let's answer one more question, and then we'll jump back into a couple. Uh, is my play based on a true story? It is. Yeah. That was. Uh, that was a, that was a really personal thing with our family. I guess I don't want to talk about it on this because this is all like jokes and fun. But that, yeah, that was like an actual emotional thing with our family. It's good that you know how to separate jokes and, and right? emotion. What inspired you guys to write the song 100 Bad Days? Last one before the song. Oh, well, that's specific. Um, 100 Bad Days was off of Neo Theater, our first single. Um, and uh, it was literally just after a case of writer's block that we were having. And it was, you know, I think it literally was me saying to Ryan, you know, like all these million bad days are going to make a million great stories. And then we're like, okay, that's and a great, very H.A.R.-ish idea. Let's change it to 100 bad days, 100 good stories. Um, and that was it. We, we just got, dove right in. It was pretty easy to write after that. Do you want to play one, uh, another song? Yeah. So, guys, let's get back to some requests. Um, go stream Way Less Sad, definitely. Yes. Uh, that is uh, the new single that is out now. we uh, been a long time coming. It's our new single. Go stream it. We hope you like it. It's a very fun, good feeling song. And? And? It's free. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is that not, I hope. What? <laughs> How are you feeling about old songs? I'm feeling good about old songs. How are you feeling about the world is a marble heart? It's so difficult. I don't know. Ryan, how are you feeling about it? <laughs> so, so you're like the shy kid of the talent show. World is a marble <laughs> No, let's let's move on to another one. How are you feeling about Don't Throw Out My Legos? Oh, I'm feeling good about that. What key do you want to do? Let's do it in D. Don't throw out my Lego. 
Jesus. What if I can let it go? What if I can let it go? Don't throw out my hands. That's my part. What if I can let it go? What if I come back home? Oh, 
Welcome. <laughs> Looking for this. any reactions to the single we would love to hear uh um constructive criticism for next time mm -hmm. would be great uh it, okay well all the songs have music videos um uh, yeah we're trying to do our best we're, we're filming one this weekend correct yeah yeah we're uh, filming uh, do we, should we say which one we're filming this weekend? Yeah, give it we're a We're filming thing. OK Overture. And yes, there is an overture on this upcoming album. And yeah, we uh, decided it was right. We, we decided it wasn't right for Neo Theater. Neo Theater didn't uh, deserve an overture for whatever reason, um, because we kind of had the songs all Easter egged into each other. Um, this one, really, the overture feels right. Yeah. Um, the Bridge of Wayless Sad should be an entire song on its own from Max and Harvey. I agree. Hey! Thank you. Guys. It's so funny. The first time I heard that song, I said to Ryan and Jeff, like, that was the best bridge of any song they've ever written. And so I agree with Max. That's good. We stand with Max and Harvey. And oh, my God. What is that? I'm you're really convincing it. <laughs> I was singing the harmony part, and it definitely wasn't right. That was good. That was good listening. Good job. There they are. The auto-tune in the bridge is amazing. Yeah, we went full on. Uh, we bumped the auto-tune up to Max. What was, what was your decision behind that, Ryan? Or do you want to save it for the making of? Oh, um, I don't know. It felt right. It felt like the 
how your brain actually feels when it's three o'clock in the morning uh, and you're you can't tell which thoughts are real and uh we we uh that's kind of a theme throughout the album that might be the reason why people are thinking of it as such a separate section like it should be its own song i think really as soon as the auto-tune kicks in it's like oh wow this is like its own this yeah. could be taken from anything else you know just plopped in there kind of question i have a question go go for it so there's so many references across all ajr songs to something around three like 3 a.m 3 30 three o'clock things there's the lyric in the um verse and then the bridge of way less sad Ryan and Jack, what is it about three o'clock? I, I, I want to share it, but I feel like it'd be giving too much away. Our obsession with the number uh, number three and the time three. What do you think, Ryan? Should we give it away? No. No, it's sorry, not. Adam. It's a nice round number. It, that's the easy answer. We just have a sort of obsession with the uh, with three o'clock. <sighs> <laughs> You're really mad that we didn't I answer that. that. Uh, Wait, okay. Everyone, we're going to do uh, one or two more questions and then we'll uh, exit with, uh, do you want to do bang for the, to, to, to end it or, or, or do you want to do another medley? We'll, um, we'll end, end the medley with bang. Sure. That's a good idea. Cool. Yeah. Should we do a medley? No, no, no. Oh, one, one more. Oh, should we do a medley? No, uh, no, no one oh, more. Whoa, whoa. I don't really like the medleys. Planet Reimagined Season 2. Yes. Bring it on. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. Guys, this is the announcement. It's here. <laughs> no, it's not. It's coming. <laughs> March 34th. It's on its way. What? What? Married on a hill. Oh my god. Shouldn't have read that out loud. <laughs> I acknowledge <laughs> that it was I acknowledge <laughs> that it was there. Any other questions or uh, comments? Is it hard coming up with the music video? It was actually not difficult. That was uh is just a bunch of random ideas that we thought of. Uh, the, the, what if the, we're underwater? Stuff, yeah, what if we're underwater? Well, the hotel. It was just having fun <laughs> searching out cool locations and uh, coming up with stuff from there. <laughs> okay, Austin, Austin. You, <laughs> you had such you a huge, your yeah, you had such a huge <laughs> opportunity and you took it to talk about the weather. <laughs> we're not bringing you back on. <laughs> Are there any Easter eggs in the newest songs or the song? Mm. Maybe. Yeah, I, there actually kind of is. You'll hear it when you hear the whole album. Did you teach yourselves instruments? I think it's pretty apparent from my guitar <laughs> that we, I am, I'm in the, still in the process of teaching myself. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Ryan taught himself piano and bass. We, it's all just self-taught for us. Wait, someone had a question about adventures out there. Yeah, I saw it. Does it sample a Pixar movie? It does not. Oh, it does not. Yes. There's not really an association with the Pixar. Or is there, Ryan? There isn't. Oh, nice. Put that to bed. <laughs> uh, okay, you want to do one last song? Yeah, 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 let's do it. All right, guys, get your requests in. Again, Wayless Sad just came out. Let me know when I'm overselling the song. Stream it. Stream it, I guess. Yeah, give it some streams. <laughs> You ready for this? I'm sitting in the rail <laughs> station. Goodbye, everyone. Upon a destination. I'm not here. Wave goodbye. <laughs> what year we did? <laughs> what year? What year we did? I don't recognize the game. <laughs> um, all right, Derek, let's uh, throw some uh, throw some requests our way. We got. Dynamite, your choice of which song that is titled Dynamite. All right. I have a feeling it is the BTS song or I came to move the Tile song. We'll do a medley. Yeah, yeah. I don't know the lyrics to the BTS. Crew, crew, crew. Um, I don't know. Do, 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 do,
this request came from someone very important to run. Ready? I do not know the lyrics. Me notes. Wait, what's that part? You pass me notes and build our hands with pain. And in my car, as we walk to school, I sat and crossed my legs like Jim would do. Ain't there's a lot of words they like in New York City. I'm a thousand miles away from here tonight. So pretty, yes, you do. Time's making China's crazy. I swear it's one song. When I believe your eyes, ten million, ten million fireflies lit up the world as I fell asleep. They fill the open air. Getting into that era. Let's get. Is there anything out of the era? But 
watching again our singles out now we really do it in all seriousness appreciate it's uh, how much how much you love it. it's probably the coolest release we've ever had yeah so reaction wise a lot of you were saying it's your favorite AJR song so far it's really just us writing it here so there's no frame of like we have nothing we have no <laughs> we have nothing to uh what am I trying to say we, we don't know what's going to come literally we don't really show it to anyone you people are the first people we really show it to so just to have such an overwhelmingly positive reaction is such a great feeling it really made us so happy today so Go stream it, listen to it, and uh, you'll hear it on the radio very soon. Yeah. And uh, other than that, have a fantastic night. OK Orchestra is coming March 26th. Play them out right. Enjoy the show.